Hi there, my name is Chris Downing, Application Engineer from Man Machine UK. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic block uh, for a revision table. So first of all I've got here some uh, pieces of text and some line geometry which I'm going to turn into a revision table. Set the items, type block, press enter, give the block a name, Specify a base point and open in the block editor. Once the block editor is open, I need to create some attributes. So I specify attribute definition, give the attribute a tag, a prompt. And the default. Make sure I pick the correct style that I want to use for the text and check all the other options as well. Once I'm happy, press OK. I'm going to use the insertion align to align up my letter there or my attribute. And then I'm going to copy the attribute one, two, three more times to then edit it. So we have all the attributes required for our revision table. What I need to do now is create, um, first of all, a, a dynamic action to this table. What I want to do is I want to stretch these lines upwards. Yeah, those are the four lines I wish to stretch. So in my parameters panel on my uh, block author and palette, I'm going to select. I'm going to Select uh, first of all, I'm going to select linear dimension because that's the dimension that I'm going to stretch. And then I'm going to select the action. That's the parameter I'm going to stretch from here. And then I'm going to stretch these items. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm just going to test that quickly before I carry on. You can see that we have another grip and a dynamic block grip for stretch, and now the lines stretch. Okay, back into the block editor. B is a shortcut for block editor. So, what I need to do now is create some um, some visibility states. So, we can see on the parameters we have visibility here. Okay. I'll just pop this down anywhere, sort of logical, and um, create some new states. You'll see that this uh, panel uh, becomes visible. It's, it was greyed out previously. Um, now it's visible, now we can use it because we have this visibility parameter on the block. So I'm going to select visibility states, select new, call this one zero, new, call this one eight, new, oh, I might call this one actually, rename it non, no revisions, seems a bit more logical. Go new again, call it B, New C, New D. Okay, uh, so we can see now this list of visibility states. In fact, I've got one too many there. Let's get rid of that. So what I need to do now, you can see here we've got the options to make visible and to make invisible. So in different states, we can decide what items are visible and what items aren't. So if I select none, I want to make invisible everything bar the original um, parts of the revision table 
Then I'll go to A, and I want to make everything invisible bar the A, uh, the A uh, attribute, and then we'll go for B, make invisible everything bar the B attributes, and then we'll go for C, and you get the idea by now, hopefully. Uh, select and hide the D, and then we'll go for the D, and everything's visible in that state. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this button here will actually show and hide other things in the in the block, so you can bring them back by clicking on Make Visible. If I want to make that visible again, I can. Obviously, I don't. But that's the way you would do that. You would select this button here. Then you can see stuff shaded out that's invisible. And then you can make it visible by clicking the Make it Visible and then clicking on the item that you want to make visible. Like that. So let's make those back to invisible. They go to shaded. I click this button here and we can see exactly how the block will look at the end there. Okay, so the last thing I need to do now is create a, um, a table, a lookup table. Sorry, not a lookup table, a block property table. Let's put that down here. I can align it with this one, keep it nice and neat. Zero amount of grips, I don't want to see any grips. So the block property table now allows me to place properties on my um, block, and I can use different parameters, for example, the distance parameter, and also visibility state parameter. I'm just going to OK that for now because I need to do a bit of a measurement. So just measure from here to here. That's 4.8. OK. So what I need to do now is edit my block property table. So the distance, when it's at 4.8, needs to show the parameter none. And then when it's, this is going to be a little bit awkward, isn't it? So, <laughs> uh, right, so we're going for 9.6, and that's going to be A. Let's test my maths now. So we're going for 14.4, and then we're going to go for 18. 19.2 C and then we're going to go for 23 24 for D. Let's hope that works out. Okay. Okay, so just go to none. I'm just checking here that we've got the table visible in all the states. Okay, let's just test this now. Save the block. Just do an at sync. That syncs up the attributes. So the attributes don't get synced in a block automatically. We have to do an at sync. Select the block to update. That should synchronize the attributes. And there we go. And you can see now that as I put it up to the different dimensions that I specified, the revisions are shown. Please feel free to contact manamachine.co.uk if you have any questions regarding this. Thanks, bye.